I went into therapy and the first thing that my therapist did was teach me transcendental meditation. Mm -hmm. Now he never said to me, you need to get present. And I was sitting in there saying to him, like, you see me in this body, but I'm over here. Like the real me is over here. I'm not in there. You're looking at the body, but I'm over here. And he never explained dissociation to me. I just thought I was crazy. But what he did immediately do was teach me something that would help me start to be present, help me self-regulate. And within 30 days, and I had a hard time meditating for, for anybody who has tried it and failed. Let me tell you, for 30 days, I failed every day. <laughs> but uh, on the 31st day or the 32nd day, I started to get the hang of it. And within a couple of weeks after that, I started realizing that I was doing the breath work that went with my meditation all day in, in moments that were not meditating. And, and, and you can see there, I'd already started to make the bridge between being present in meditation and being present in the rest of my day. And that's not the thing that brought me, you know, like the, the clouds didn't part. It's not like it brought me to some great revelation in my trauma recovery, but it certainly helped me be in a space where trauma recovery could begin. Because if you're not present, how, how do you do the work? 